Los jeroglíficos dicen que se llamaba Ahmanet, elegida para convertirse en reina de Egipto. Pero su sed de poder la condujo por una senda oscura. No debía dar ni un solo paso más. Yes, I did have doubts indeed. I, I, um, I said no to the project to begin with because um, I just finished a movie where I did a lot of makeup and I think I was a bit afraid to go back in the makeup chair for that long. I was also, for some reason, afraid to play a monster and I was also afraid to um, not be right. Uh, sorry, not giving homage and not adjusting to, you know, because I have so much respect to the original ones and I grew up watching these films and I... And I thought, uh, and I think uh, and there's an aspect of it that scared me. And my first in initial reaction to it was to maybe no. <laughs> and then Alex understood it. He said he still wanted to meet me. And I said, of course. And we sat down and met. And he, I suppose he shared with me his, his, his desire to, to, to give a proper homage to the original. That how much, Then he shared with me his passion towards the original ones. And it only made me fall in love with the project. And it made me feel like, you know, going back to the makeup for that long is not, you know, that big of a deal. I, you know, it's about the art, and it's about, you know, the, the, the characters and the story, and that these are far greater than anything, you know, that you... And I consider my... Like, this needs to be a blank canvas, you know, that I feel like uh, more than happy to transform to get into a character that's... Especially if it's such an... such an... such an, like, an iconic one, such as the, the mummy, you know? And... Um, and then I said yes, and then, and then we did uh, we did all the the research in order to, to to find to find the character that was going to come again, like now for modern time. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's an honor, you know. Uh, Boris Karloff made that role iconic. The movie was iconic, and that was over 80 years ago, and that was a long time. And for Alex to think about this character being a woman, I think, I think was was so spot on, was so clever, and it was so it was sensitive of him to do it that way I think and I think it's empowering and I think it's a, it's, a, it's I think I think in the industry period you know it needs to be more strong you know female characters out there and I feel I think it's an honor for me to to play this role and to sort of walk in his footstep I mean, uh, uh, Boris Karloff's footstep but yeah it didn't come without any sort of pressure <laughs> but I, I did work hard for it I suppose yeah, I think I, it was necessary, you know, when I sat down with Alex, one of the reasons also why I said no is was because I was afraid to just be a monster scaring people around, destroying things around, and I thought, you know, the psychology and the background of those kind of characters is far more interesting than the actual end result, which is monstrous or evil or, or mean. And he, he agreed and he, we were on the same page in that, in that, in that, in that, in that sense. And, um, and I mean, luckily we have an amazing, strong backstory for Amanet, and I was just, I, I was just sticking to the circumstances, and um, and yeah, and I think they, they are strong, and they, they made me feel for the for the character, and so you know, like any nemesis in every movie, you know, which I, I'm, I'm always drawn to the to, towards the bad guy more, more so than the, the good guy for some reason, because you always wonder what makes them so evil, and why do they not figure it out in order to and I think you know nemesis in movies or nemesis in I mean in, in the characters they go past the line that we sometimes human don't go toward because we sort of rationalize what's happening to us and so to observe that is fascinating I you know honestly if I fall in love with, with the script I fall in love with the script to me relationships in in, in stories are very important I love to um, I love you know, transforming is a part of our job. We transform emotionally, so why not externally doing it as well? Um, I think it, it all depends on what I read and what I love. And if it requires having to do that again, if I love it, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't know yet. We haven't come to that stage yet, but I will be more than happy to play Amanet again. Um, who would I like to face? I don't know. Maybe... I think in The Invisible Man would be a hard one. To, to, to target because, I mean, it'd be hard to fight him, you know, he's pretty slick and pretty invisible. Usted está vivo porque ha sido elegido. Dios mío. Por el mal. Utilizando. Este antiguo poder ha regresado. Ella reclamará lo que se le ha legado. 